ABC General Hospital spoilers tease that as Elizabeth Weber and Willow Tate find solace in each other's company, their shared confidences mark the beginning of an unexpected bond. Both women are struggling under the weight of their personal lives, and their conversations provide them with a rare moment of emotional release. Elizabeth has been through the ringer, dealing with her complicated history with Rick Lansing, while Willow's marriage to Michael Corinthos is also on rocky ground. Elizabeth's life has often been a whirlwind of chaos, from her romantic entanglements to her deep-rooted guilt over the mistakes of her past. Now she finds herself questioning whether she's ready to let anyone else in, especially as the ghosts of her previous relationships, particularly with Jason Morgan and Rick, continue to haunt her. For Willow, it's not just about love and marriage. The emotional burden she carries is intertwined with the dangerous world of Sonny Corinthos. As a wife and mother, she's deeply conflicted about the choices she's made and those she has yet to make. Sharing her concerns with Elizabeth allows her to process some of these emotions, but the undercurrent of fear and uncertainty about her future remains. Together, their discussions might be the key to unlocking new paths forward, or potentially sowing the seeds of even greater conflict down the road. Meanwhile, Molly Lansing Davis can't shake her suspicion that her father, Rick Lansing, is up to something more sinister. There's a tension in the air whenever they talk, and Molly, sharp as ever, senses that there's more beneath the surface. Rick's motives are murky, clouded by years of questionable decisions and power plays. Is he hiding something about the recent events surrounding John Cates's murder? Could he be involved in a deeper conspiracy? The questions swirl in Molly's mind, and while she tries to maintain a facade of normalcy, her instincts tell her otherwise. Rick's complicated relationship with the Corinthos family adds layers of intrigue as his past actions have shown that his loyalty can shift like sand. Molly, however, is no stranger to her father's unpredictability. She knows when to be cautious, and this time she's prepared to dig deeper to uncover the truth. But what will she find, and will it change her perception of Rick forever? In another corner of Port Charles, Sasha Corbin has a surprise up her sleeve for Cody Bell the town's enigmatic bad boy with a heart of gold. While their relationship has often teetered between friendship and something more, Sasha has decided that it's time to make her feelings known. The surprise, however, is more than just a romantic gesture. It's a reflection of how far Sasha has come in her own personal growth. After years of battling her inner demons and surviving the loss of loved ones, Sasha is ready to embrace the future, and Cody just might be the man to help her do that. But with Cody's complicated past and penchant for finding trouble, there's no guarantee that things will go smoothly. As Sasha presents her surprise, the question lingers. Will Cody accept this new chapter in his life, or will his demons come back to haunt him, dragging Sasha down with him? The stakes are higher than ever, and the outcome is far from certain. While these personal dramas unfold, the underworld of Port Charles continues to simmer with danger. Sonny Corinthos, always at the center of turmoil, finds himself once again in a precarious position. Desperate to locate his missing gun, Sonny is also laser-focused on ensuring that Jason Morgan disposes of the weapon he used to kill FBI agent John Cates. Sonny knows that time is running out, and the longer the gun remains out there, the greater the risk to his empire and his family. The pressure is mounting, and with Anna Devane's questions looming large, Sonny knows he must act fast. But Anna, ever the seasoned investigator, isn't giving up. She knows there's more to the story than Sonny or Jason is letting on, and her dogged pursuit of the truth may bring everything crashing down. For Carly Spencer, this situation is all too familiar. Another day, another crisis. Carly knows she's teetering on the edge of another legal disaster, and this time she turns to Jack Brennan for advice. Jack has helped her before, but Carly fears that her luck may be running out. The looming question remains, can Jack get her out of this mess, or will Carly be forced to make the ultimate sacrifice, marrying Sonny yet again to stay out of jail? As the week comes to a close, the Corinthos family is left reeling from one explosive revelation after another. Michael Corinthos, caught in the crossfire of his father's illegal dealings and his own moral compass, pleads with his sister, Christina Corinthos Davis. His desperation is palpable, 
Does he want her to come clean about the gun, or is he more concerned with stopping her from making another fatal mistake? Christina swears she didn't kill John Cates, but the secrets surrounding the weapon are too dangerous to ignore. Michael knows that keeping everything under wraps may destroy his family, but letting the truth come out could be even worse. He finds himself trapped between loyalty to his father and doing what's right, with no easy way out. By week's end, Sonny makes a promise he may not be able to keep, and an arrest is made. The consequences of these actions will ripple throughout Port Charles for weeks to come, leaving everyone to wonder what the fallout will be. As alliances shift and old grudges resurface, the residents of Port Charles brace themselves for whatever comes next, knowing that nothing in their world ever stays buried for long.